<clears throat> so, uh, David Torrance here, how'd the race go for you? Uh, you know, a guy out at a good pace. Um, do you want to ask me afterwards? Or? No, go ahead. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, a guy out at a good pace, and I tucked in, and it felt pretty easy compared to last week. You know, I think a lot of people were kind of looking at me as maybe one of the favorites for this race, is because uh, I came through so fast last weekend and held on decently. But today, yeah, I, I think I just I had that leg, that, that race in my leg still. I think just with how hard an effort that was. Um, and also we got a little excited about it, so I think my workout in the middle of the week was just a little ambitious. So I think I just ran tired today. I was just a little tired and, you know, trying to put it out of my mind, but I think it just was there in the last 100 meters. Yeah, I mean, a little ironic, like, you, know, you run so well in the relays, and then Leo didn't run as well, but he mm -hmm. runs great today. Are you surprised that he won this race? No, I mean, nothing surprises me with Leo, you know what I mean? I was a training partner for like three years, and that guy can be a silver medalist one day and, you know, DNF the next. But when he's on, he's on, and, you know, today I felt pretty confident when he got in front of me. I was like, okay, well, he doesn't look too good. Let me just go for the last 100 meters. But, uh, yeah, I I feel like I'm getting to that point where even when Leo's at his best, I can, I can beat him now. So just today wasn't that day, but... There's always next time. What's next for you? Uh, I'm going to go to Barcelona actually for a few weeks and finally be with my new coach who I am training with now, Jama Aden. And I'm uh, going to train with them and the group and try and get ready for USA's. Okay, any races in between now? No, I'm just going to say next. Yeah, probably.